Hello and welcome back to another Tech Repair and Review video. Um, you're probably wondering, well, where's all my equipment? I usually have a, I usually have a soldering iron over here and a power supply over here, and then some general assortment of like spec two screwdriver sets on here behind my power supply. Well, what I'm talking about in this video, I took all of it off as a safety precaution because I don't want to break any of it. What I have with me is this thing. And it, while it looks kind of like an iron, it's not an iron at all. It's a <clears throat> it's a videotape eraser or a bulk VHS eraser, as some people call it on the internet. Um, all this thing is is a really powerful electromagnet that's used to <clears throat> wipe tapes. So, like, uh, take your VHS tape. Like, let's say you have uh, your favorite copy of Shrek, and you take this thing up to it, and you press the button on here. This light turns on. And what that does is it erases everything on the tape. You just hold it up to your thing and you go like, you press the button down and you hold it down. Now I didn't press the button that time because uh, this thing gets hot really fast and if I use this for about a minute, which it says on here, it gets hot enough where it'll thermal shut down. And then about 10 minutes later you'll feel the heat. So I'm not going to be using this very much throughout this video, but this video is going to be pretty short. So let's demonstrate it. I have this metal bar here. Uh, you know, you see, it's magnetic, like uh, there's some rare earth magnets in here, and it's a magnetic bar, nothing special. Now, I didn't actually test this, but let me see if there's any kind of solenoid in there. So I have my magnets right here. I'm not going to bring the camera any closer because that thing has a magnetic hard drive on it. So there is a solenoid in here because it's... It is sticking to it without, the, without any power being added to it yet. So if I press the button, I just broke all my magnets. Uh, give me a second. Okay, before I go on the video, let's just agree with one thing. I'm an idiot. The second thing is, I found two more of the magnets over here. So you're probably wondering, what just happened? Well, I turned this thing on, and it turns out it does not have a, it's not DC, it's not a DC electromagnet. So what that means is if it's running off AC power, its magnetic field would look something like this. It would alternate between being north and south. And because of that, when I put my magnets on it, because this thing is really, really strong, shot my magnets out because of how fast the field was changing and launched them all across this room. I found some back there on the lamp post that's back there. There were some on this table. One of them broke in half. I don't know where the other half is, but this one is a broken half. And there were two on that, that pound on that weight over there. So now let me continue the video. Put these away before I break more of them. They were like two dollars, so it's not that big of a deal, but I have to find magnet chunks now. So, that just showed how strong it was. Now, let me show you how I was originally going to show how strong it was. So, here's the thing. Here's this middle bar. You can physically hear it buzzing from the, the transformer that it has in it. And I think it's strong enough to pick this up pretty far away. That's at least like two or three inches, which is about five centimeters off the table. And that's pretty strong considering these magnets can't do it until they get within about one centimeter of it, or about half an inch. So this thing is really strong and it draws a lot of current. Like the technical specifications on here say that it is, it draws eight and a half amps. So. That's a lot of that's a lot of current. Uh, almost everything you use draws less than that, unless it's like a laptop charger, or your fridge. This draws a lot. That's why it heats up really quickly. So I probably can only use this for a couple more seconds before I have to let it turn off again. And if I didn't mention it, this thing is plugged into the wall. So one more time, because it's really I think it's really funny when you hear it going. And that's what it, that's the, this tape eraser is, it's just a really fast magnet that scrambles up data on a tape to erase it. Oh yeah, I have a surge protector here and every time I, every time I turn this thing on, 
it triggers the light on here that says building wiring fault. I don't know if you can hear the click of me turning it on, but it triggers it. That's all I have for this video, and uh, be sure to stay subscribed so you can wait another month for me to release a two minute video because I'm pretending to work on my other projects. Like my toaster project, uh, I haven't even mentioned it, but I'm working on a toaster that launches things. It's basically done. It's just been under this table for like a month and a half. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it for my uh, channel, or not channel, for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.